Do you want to blow up your credit score like this or like this or even like this and get results like this and get deletions like this? Yo, people in the comments are blowing up their credit score and I'm going to show you how they do it. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. So in today's class, I'm going to show you how to blow up your credit score in the next 30 days because I see there's a lot of confusion on should you freeze your credit report, should you not freeze it, should you freeze the snitches, or should you not, what you should do, should you, um, how do you remove a bankruptcy, how do you remove a late, like, so many things are going on in the comments, and I just want to clear up all the confusion, and I want to give you a step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step process on how to slap anything off your credit report and increase your credit score 50, 100, 200, whatever you got going on, increase your credit score in the next 30 days, so I'm going to just break it down to you real quick. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know, you gotta get you something to drink, cause woo, class is gonna be a good one. Hold on, before I give you the play-by-play -play action, before I give you the step-by-step, -step, right? If you've been getting results, if you've been getting deletions, if your inquiry's been removed, if you got bankruptcies, if you got late payments, whatever been happened, if your credit score been blowing up, hey, drop it in the comments, let people know. And if you haven't been getting results, hey, your time is coming, just be patient, hey, it's coming, right? You're gonna get those removals, right? Because you're just one deletion away to get into your ultimate credit score. So. Just make sure you take action and put in the work and you're gonna see success just like everybody else. In order to blow up your credit score, right? 50 points, 100 points, 200 points, right? You have to understand what's going on with your credit score and what's going on on your credit report, right? Those are the first two things you have to identify first before we can do any action or plans to increase your credit score in the next 30 days. So the first thing you wanna do, I know a lot of people have Credit Karma, so I'm gonna break down Credit Karma, and then I'm gonna look at a real credit report so you can understand and identify some negative items that you may have, so you can remove those off your credit report and see your credit score increase dramatically, right? So the first thing you wanna do is identify what's going on, right? Is your payment history at 100%? Is your utilization below 10%? And if it's not, what you gotta do to get it down? Do you have any negative accounts on your credit report, right? What is your age looking like? Also, how many accounts do you have? If you don't have too many accounts, then most likely the lender won't approve you because they see that you lacking in the area of, of um, handling credit or managing credit. So the more accounts you have, the better because you're more likely to get approved based off of how many accounts and what type of accounts you have on your credit report. Also, hard inquiries, right? You wanna make sure you have three or less, right? Because if you have more than three and you're trying to apply for credit, you're gonna look thirsty. So make sure you remove those hard inquiries because I have a lot of videos on how to remove your hard inquiries in the next 24 to 72 hours or seven days based off of what's going on. I know it's been a minute since you looked at your credit score, right? But in order to improve it, you had to check it out. So I know you got you got over your fear. Now you need to look at your credit report and see what's really going on. Because what we got to do is remove those negative items to start improving our credit score, right? If we just you know made payments on time, that's not going to help us. If we have so many derogatory accounts or late payments or bankruptcy, whatever we have on our credit report, it can come off. I don't care if it's open. I don't care if it's closed. I don't care what you have on your credit report. It can come off whether that's a repossession, a bankruptcy, a personal loan, a student loan, a eviction, um, whatever, inquiries, it can come off your credit report in a timely manner. But what you wanna do is just identify what's going on on your credit report, right? The link is in the description for $1 for this, right? For $1, if you wanna see a credit report that looks like this. Now, what you wanna do is just identify, you wanna look at your total accounts, like I talked about before, how many open accounts you have. You wanna check your closed accounts. Now, what you wanna see if you have any delinquent accounts. Delinquent means if you have any past due accounts. If you have any past due accounts, we have to remove those accounts, especially if you have more than one late payment on that one account, right? Now, the next thing you wanna do is check out the derogatory accounts, right? Do you have um, a repossession? Do you have some eviction? Do you have some charge offs? Whatever, it can come off your credit report. You just have to identify what's holding your credit score back. Now you wanna look at the collections. Also, you wanna check your balances. 
make sure that's correct. You wanna check your payments, make sure that's correct. If you have any public records, you wanna remove those as well. Bankruptcies can come off your credit report. You don't have to wait seven years. Yeah, as you've seen in my previous video, people got them removed in an hour, it's crazy. There's different ways to get these bankruptcies off your credit report. You just have to put it in the work, right? They tell you that they don't supposed to report. So if, if they're not supposed to report it on your credit report, what is that considered? Fraud. So, or I say identity theft. So I know you've probably been told, hey, stay away from credit cards. Credit cards are the devil. Don't ever touch a credit card, this and that, right? But in order to blow up your credit score in the next 30 days, if you don't have a credit card, right? If you don't have a credit card, you're going to be missing out on 165 points. Yes, 165 points. So whatever you've been told, you have to throw that away, right? You got to throw that away. That mindset, that's somebody else's mindset because they probably couldn't manage credit. They probably didn't understand credit cards. They probably didn't do that, right? So, but when it comes to you, you have to get a credit card in order to improve your credit score. You need a revolving type of account. In order to blow up your credit score, I created a system, something that you can follow along with, something that's easy, a step-by-step -step action plan, so you can start getting results in the next 30 days, right? So here's the here's the system, right? The first thing you wanna do is have the end in mind, right? The end of mind is the first thing you wanna do. Now you're probably thinking, what is the end of mind? What I mean by the end of mind, what do you really want? Do you want a house? Do you want a car? Do you want personal funding? Do you want business funding? What do you really want, right? Once you identify what you really want, do you want a um, 800 credit score? Do you want a 750 plus credit score? You gotta identify what you really want. Once you identify what you really want, then we can start taking the action plan. We can reverse engineer that goal to get to where you really want. Once you identify what you really want, now it's time to take steps to get to that goal. All when it, when it comes to me, it's all about goals, and I want to help you get there. I want to help you get you there. So, in order for me to help you get you there, I have to create an action plan. So you have to identify what you really want. So if you want a house, it's going to probably take you 12 months to get that house, right? If you want a car, right, it's probably going to take you three to six months to get you that car, that dream car that you really want. If you want personal funding or if you want business funding, it might take a little bit of time because you have to clean up a lot of stuff. It all depends on what you have going on. That's the reason why I showed you and made sure you look at your credit score or look at your credit report to see what you have going on. So that's my second step, right? The second step is analyzing your credit report. I showed you how to analyze your credit report. I showed you how to identify what's hurting your credit score, what's not hurting your credit score. I showed you step by step um, just a second ago on what's hurting your credit score. Once you identify and analyze everything, now we have an action plan to remove all those negative items. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hey, step three, now it's time to clean up your personal information, right? Step three in this process is cleaning up your personal information. So what I mean by cleaning up your personal information, your name is probably misspelled. You probably have a lot of addresses that you probably didn't live at or that you have some negative accounts attached to. You have your phone number on there. You have previous um, work history on there. You have um, multiple things going on when it comes to your personal information. You wanna remove all that, right? And especially as attached to those negative accounts, you wanna remove all those old addresses, right? I know they probably gonna give you they probably want to try not to say they can't remove it, but if you file a complaint with a CFPB, you can get those personal information cleaned up, right? So just send a letter in or call in. I have a video right here explaining it. I'm going to um, link it right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But what you want to do is clean up your personal information. So the fourth step in this process, right? And we got to freeze those snitches, right? And we got to freeze those snitches. So what I mean by snitches, A, hey, LexisNexis, CoreLogic, Innovis, right? ARS. Hey, there's snitches on you that are snitching on you every single day when it comes to the um, credit bureaus, right? The credit bureaus talk to these um, secondary agencies, so you just want to hush them up. Now, you don't have to hush them up, but to get better results, you want to hush them up, right? So, like I said, if you skip this step, it's okay. You can go back and freeze them, you know, freeze all your personal, I mean, freeze all the secondary agencies. If you didn't, it's okay, right? I'm not saying that if you didn't freeze them that you won't get results, but most of the time to get better results and you wanna freeze the snitches real quick, this is gonna take you a few seconds to actually um, do everything, right? All you have to do is go to Google and um, Google LexisNexis, Google SageStream, Google Interface, Google ARS, CoreLogic, Google all those different people, freeze, and then you'll be able to freeze them, right? So after you freeze them, hey, Step number five, what we're gonna do, right? Hey, we gotta, hey, we gotta set up the credit bureaus, right? We gotta set up everybody. So with my free secret letter is free. 
The link is in the description. Grab this free single letter and set them up. Just send, attach the account name and the account number. Put it on this. Send them with two forms of identification and send it to um, the credit bureaus, right? Experian, TransUnion, Equifax. What this letter does is it just asks them to investigate every piece of information on those negative accounts that you had, right? They had to check the account name, the account date, on um, the date open, the account number, date last active, the balance. They're supposed to check everything on that credit report. And if they don't, and you can got them right where you want them. So you just send that letter in first, certified, right? Certified means you go to the post office, they're gonna ask you, do you want to either um, get a um, tracking or get a return receipt, or do you want to not get a return receipt? If you don't get a return receipt, you have a tracking number, it's gonna be a green little thing, they're gonna do everything for you. It costs a little bit of extra, however, you know that the credit bureaus received it. So that's how you track your, um, that's why when I say certified, that's what I meant. So a lot of people had that problem or had that question. So. The sixth step, right? The sixth step in this process, right? Hey, number six. Six right here, I hope you can see, is um, building, right? What you wanna do is start adding some positive accounts to your credit report, right? So what I mean by adding some positive accounts, if you don't have a revolving account, such as a credit card, if you don't have um, no, no installment account, such as a personal loan, student loan, a house loan, you wanna start adding some of those accounts on your credit report. So here are some of the accounts you can start adding, right? Account number one, if you don't have a revolving credit card or any credit cards, you can add Tomo credit card, right? It's based off of what you have going on in your checking account, right? It's really simple. Also, Grain, right? Grain is a line of credit. You need an Apple phone to actually get this. If you don't, I'm sorry. Sorry for your Samsung users, right? Now, the next major thing to add on your credit report, right, is an installment account, right? So, self or credit strong, or if you're currently renting, rent reporters, um, boom pay, rental car mer Step number seven, A it's my favorite step because it's my favorite number. And we're gonna do is we're gonna bully, hey, we're gonna bully the credit bureaus, right? We're gonna bully, it's the bully method, right? Now, what I mean by the bully method means if you have a repossession, if you have a charge off, if you have a collation, if you have a student loan, if you have an open-ended credit card that have multiple late payments, Whatever you have on your credit report, it can be removed, right? Inquiries, anything can be removed from your credit report, right? You didn't give nobody no written instructions to add anything on your credit report. I am guarantee you probably get nobody no written instructions to add anything on your credit report, right? So it can be removed. If you have a bankruptcy, it can be removed. This same method can work for anything that's on your credit report anything i'll say anything one more time anything right because a lot of people having confusion on does it work with a student loan does it work with a repossession does it work with a charge job does it work with a collection yo anything on your credit report this thing this method works right so what i mean by bully right we're going to use a cf we're going to use all complaints right we're going to file a complaint with the cfpb we're going to file a complaint with the bbb we're going to file a complaint with the attorney general's office right i have made multiple videos and we're going to use the different um the different U.S. codes, right? The U.S. code when it comes to uh, written permission, the privacy, and they violate your rights when it comes to the um, 15 U.S.C. 1692, right? When it comes to the FDCPA, right? We're going to use that. So all depends on what's really going on when it comes to our credit report. Now, if they send you some letter in, some collections, I'll show you a video on how to actually mark that up a violation, right? A if you didn't get nobody written permission, I'll show you how to use that, right? So just watch this video right here. I'm gonna break it down on how you can actually clean up everything off your credit report by just using the laws, right? The law, according to the US code, A, hey, it's law. Now, I know a lot of people don't, <laughs> don't read the law, but it's the law and the law is the law. And remember, hashtag this, right? You're one deletion away to get into your ultimate credit score. Hey, it's a movement around here. You're one deletion away, so let's get it.